One of the first things that was broken by human sin was human relationships. Adam and Eve in Genesis 3 began to cast blame toward one another. God promised them that they would end up being in conflict with one another. And one of their sons ended up murdering another, setting off a chain of violence and conflict that has defined human history. The church, however, is intended to be a sign, an outpost of God's kingdom as it moves forward by healing the wounds between human beings. He saves us through Jesus to himself, not just as individuals, but as a people. 1 Peter 2, 9-10 through says of Christians' collective identity that we are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. These words are true of any Christian anywhere on the globe. And as God's people, the church, wherever it is found, is designed to carry forward his banner to worship him together and to join Jesus in calling other men and women out of darkness so that they too can know the mercy of God and join this large extended family. At Redeemer, one of the ways that we and many other churches have chosen to steward God's community is by not just gathering on Sunday mornings, but also by scattering throughout our cities and throughout our regions throughout the week to spend time in something we call community groups, where we build family relationships and disciple one another so that we might worship Jesus better together.